Hello everyone, how are you doing? In today's video, I am going to show you how to enable remote connection to MS SQL Server 2019 on Windows 10. Okay, from Ubuntu uh, 23.10 desktop. Okay, so uh, after installing MS SQL Server 2019, okay, I am using MS SQL Server Management Studio 19.1. Okay, and I have the database, local database here uh, that is SQL Express and uh, I am connecting to SQL Server Authentication. So this is the host server, okay, so the, this is the database. Now uh, the, as you know that MS SQL Server connects to the port 1433. Now I will go to my Ubuntu desktop and I will try to connect this is the my host name 192.160 uh, let me show you my host okay so uh, this is my host 192.168.29.234 so uh, I'll be going to desktop uh, Ubuntu and so when I do a telnet on port 1433 it will be giving trying but it will not connect okay so that's the issue so I uh, let us start from here the first what I am going to do I am going to open my firewall okay advanced settings okay so go to the firewall and go to add a uh, firewall with advanced security or oh, go to inbound rules now here I will create a new rule so first rule will be adding a port TCP port specified for 1433 next allow the connection next I don't need domain I don't need public because uh, I'm not using this server to access from any um, pu uh, public IP okay neither I'm using any do workstation or domain so I'll be doing it in just a private because it is within a router I mean I am using a uh, router to connect and all in the same network so ms sql port okay i name it ms sql port and finish refresh now let us say whether it is connected it will still not connect because we have a lot of thing to do the next thing what we have to do we have to again go to inbound rules click new rules and now we select program I will go to browse I will go to MS SQL server X SQL Express MS SQL bin here you have a program SQL is SERVR you have to select this one you have to allow this program next allow the connection again private next ms sql prog i name it like this okay let us go again and see still not connecting okay now what we will do we will go to the this one SQL Server Configuration Manager so here we have both SQL Server Network Configuration 32 bit and 11 client 11.0 configuration 32 bit I am using a 64 bit so I will go for the 64 the protocol for SQL Express go to TCP IP double click here see it is enabled is no protocol is enabled no just click it yes okay listen yes okay Be, this is it will enable the listener okay so it will listen any connection from the remote remote client IP address go to this one scroll down you see this you can see this IPv4 okay active enable it is automatically active enable you have to just put, put the local IP address this is my IP address as I told you 
you have to restart the service again and month another thing you have to do you have to go to clients protocol then tcp ip enable it okay keep alive blah 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 and default port is 1433 now we will go to the sql service and i will restart this after restarting we will check again with the telnet port see now it is connecting ok so we can connect to the m 1433 port right now so if telnet don't work for 1433 you cannot connect ok now we will test the connection we will go to I am using a client called SQL developer ok I already made a video on this I will provide you the link for that video in my in this in the description ok in this uh, here I am using uh, the external third party JART file to connect to SQL server ok I already had a connection ok so here we have a uh, SQL Server 2019 Win 10 so I will not create a new connection I will only show you testing the connection ok go to properties see we have the IP address 192.168.29.234 port 1433 I will go retrieve database you see I have my some default database I will connect ok now I can connect ok so uh, you can use some command like use master so okay, let us recapture uh, what we have done uh, till now first we went to windows firewall advanced security we created two inbound rules one is ms sql uh, ms sql proc where i will provide all the details in the description okay i'll put the path also where from program files ms sql we have selected this sql serVR.exe allowed this program another thing we have done we have added a port ms sql port we went here and ports and protocols we have added 1433 ok so like see you can also do you can create a protocol and allow all port but for safety of your machine for any vulnerability sh you will sh should not or sh you not supposed to do this ok so you only allow those port the, the port that is uh, required by by any program ok so I allowed this port second thing what I do did I went to my SQL server configuration first go to SQL server net network configuration protocols TCP IP if it is disabled enable this from IP address go to IPv4 and in uh, this IP address section will be blank put your IP address ok uh, put, put your IP address here you can get it from the IP, IP config and uh, second thing is go to native client 11.0 here go to TCP IP here uh, if it is disabled enabled equal to no enable it default port is always 1433 another thing I forgot to say in protocol for this SQL Express TCP IP listen all make it yes enable yes listen all equal make it yes ok so after that restart your SQL service SQL server service and you can connect from any remote uh, remote uh, client or remote place ok so I hope you like this video please uh, like and share the video if you like it and to subscribe to my channel I'll, so that I can come up with more useful video. Thank you so much.